the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoy uh, your weekend uh, your, and last week, and I hope you have a blessed week coming up. And uh, this Sunday, we just did uh, the 23rd of July. We sat there and, and went over uh, the true mark of a Christian. But the title started off, because I ended up with two titles. And I want to show the two titles, and I want to read the scripture that we use, because the fact is we as believers need to start operating as believers and stop operating according to the world and understand that we are all accountable to God. And if you don't think that, then, then, then that's, you understand that stop calling yourself a Christian if you don't want to be accountable to God. A lot of cases we seem to be accountable to man, but we got to be accountable to God. Amen? So, this is the, this is a topic that uh, I felt I needed to address this morning, uh, but <laughs> the whole point is we need to understand the true mark of a Christian. But my title, then I go with this title. But the second title I want to show you, the scripture I'm going to go over with, uh, is "Do Christians believe we benefit from slavery?" That's a question. Do you? Because in Florida, they they want to put and say there was some benefit from being a slave. There was some benefit from being raped. There was some benefit from being uh, tortured and mutilated and hung and forced to lay, uh, to, to work in in cotton fields and 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 cake and you know other agricultural uh, things as if these people came from civilizations that didn't have those things, don't have those skills. But if, you, if you're that ignorant, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you something. The earliest and first civilization started where? In Africa. <laughs> that's not an indoctrination, that's a truth. And the fact is that those people came from, those people who were kidnapped, came from uh, cultures and civilizations that were surviving and striving as a governments and as, as people, as communities. They, they didn't come out there sitting there hanging on a, a, just in a hut or just spear, throwing a spear. These people came. And don't forget, too, if you don't know history, the Moors ruled Europe for over seven, eight hundred years. Maybe you didn't know that, but you know it now. If you're going to listen. So we got to say, no, there's no benefit from being a slave. You think so? You be one and see if you like it. So I started with that. But this is what the whole point I really wanted to get to is this right here, the mark of a true Christian. And I want to cover those scriptures. And like I said, I hope you enjoy this uh, study we're going to do. I'll break them down in segments. But the fact is that we have to go by the teaching of Christ. We need to show and bear good fruit. Fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. We need to bear good fruit. And then we need to also show the mark of a true Christian. And that's what this one is about, is showing the true marks of a Christian. And don't forget, Christ said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Obviously, if some people saying they love somebody else because they're not loving Christ, but they're not keeping his commandments. So here's the, the script I wanted to use that we're going to use by study. And those scriptures come at the end of the study. But look at what it says here. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, giving the hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide, on, provide things honest in the sight of all men. 
if it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore the enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, he shall heap coals of fire in his hand. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's the whole point we're saying is the mark of a Christian. And I like to read that again. Be not overcome with evil, overcome evil with good. Listen, we need to be and bear the mark of a Christian. These are the answers to the test if you want to be a Christian. You make that confession and you bear good fruit because it's time for us to shine. And I'm saying is that's not some of the stuff we're seeing in the day. It's not about shining, it's about lying. And we need to not tolerate that anymore. It's time to start making the deal with the devil and start making the deal with God through the new covenant, through Christ. Amen? And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you when I see you. And now we're getting ready to go to the next session or the concerning the study we did this week on the 23rd of July. God bless you and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Man! It's not changing any lives. It's not. It's not changing it's not changing oh. the sinful nature. That's what exactly. Exactly. Look, 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 check this out. Because here's a, here's, we just read about the sixth day that God hate, right? Look at this one too. Just just to throw this one out here. Because they're not teaching this stuff at all. They're not. They look at this right here. We'll, go read that one for us, Galatians 19 and 23. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery. Fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, every oh, envy, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like. I mean, the list is still going on. It, it, there's more to this, but it was just, I mean, there would be no end to this list. <laughs> Such like of the which I tell you before. So there was more that he said. I told you, yeah, uh, right. As I have also told you in time past, that mm. they which do such things shall such not thing. inherit the kingdom of God. And it's like, but, what? <laughs> But the way oh, yeah, yeah. of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. There, there's a law, but the law can't affect any of these. Normally, right? You can't shoot if you're arrested. Yeah. yeah. These, these are above the law. <laughs> these, these put you above the law and you know what i'm getting into the fact too is that right because that's true you you should be arrested there's no way you get arrested for any of these items here there's no law there's no books out there no law out of this one but the one above there are laws there's laws in the book of adultery for every last one of them <laughs> and yet and yet it did look the key word to hear is that like you said, what Trump Trump said is they come after me to come after you, meaning, you know, you violate these laws, you, you, you're going to get in trouble. But, you know, they keep forgetting that leave out the part about the kingdom of God. Because there's, there's another component, not only being, uh, what, what Trump is saying is that you won't be held accountable if they don't hold me accountable. But he's not, well, he don't have to, he don't, shouldn't have to, but the preachers are not saying Guys, we're gonna be accountable to God. Guys, we gotta to answer to God. Uh, I mean, that's one of us. And it's like, you know, it's so, it's just hypocrisy. How did, like, like for example, when when Obama was trying to get the the man nominated for Supreme Court, what? Well, uh, you know, oh we, my God, you told we, we got, the biggest in, in Congress at that time. Because <laughs> they, because the, when it came around toward them, yeah. Uh, I never I'm said that. Oh, that was then. This is now. I'm a fill. I'm a fill those position. He even said it one day. I'm a fill those. Yeah. But you, yet you told a lie. 
Yeah. And you, you, cause, you, cause it all, like you said, it's, cause really that kind of circled everything you were saying is that it was not, we're not held accountable. We just want other people to be held accountable. Yeah. The Bible, I guess we really say is that the Bible, and now you can see what people are saying it was meant to be a tool to control because it was controlling others. Yeah, In other was, words, it applied to others. Yeah. Wow. It was, the, the Bible is, a, is wow. a controlling document when it comes to. Wow. Yeah, we're going to wow. you follow it. It's going to control your sinful nature. <laughs> mm. But but other part is it. it. Well, well, the thing about it, they're trying to use the same thing for what the laws of those books were in in the government. Yeah. But it was only applied to you. Yeah. It wasn't meant to apply to me. Yeah. If I kill somebody, then that's, I'm supposed to be able to get away with it. Yeah. You know? Uh, now they're trying to say basically the Bible, uh, it has to be it's a swamp of way. people. Yeah. It's the same way. This now that you can see why a person then say the Bible was meant to control people. It was Excuse meant me to a go ahead. While, while he's going on to that, uh, that, that is amazing. The, we have indoctrinated a group, a large group of people, not only in this country, but in other around the world, to think that the the, you're not accountable. And I think that's the whole point. Most of them are not accountable to, to the gospel. Most of them we're not accountable to the gospel. We're not accountable to God. I mean, if, if, you, if you did, would you do what you're doing? Most of us have got to the point where we're accountable to people. And then we want, if, if, if certain people can be on our side to go away and, and, and agree to, to commit wrong, to, to, to do discrimination and everything else, I mean, I guess that's why the title that I gave saying is, do Christians believe that the slaves got, there was a benefit to being a slave? Uh, if you say, I'm, I'm pretty sure anybody is saying that, right? Is not saying that for them. They would not agree that if they were a slave, that they'll get a benefit from it, that they benefited from it if they were slave. I, I guarantee you there's no human being, and everybody's listening, who would say that they would be, get benefit if they were enslaved, right? <laughs> And, and, and that's, I think that's what we, we're dealing with as a, a dilemma for some of you, to a large percent of you, to some of your parents, friends and neighbors, is they don't think they're accountable to God. They, that God is out of the equation of their everyday life. So therefore, a bank robber can rob banks, a serial killer can kill people. Uh, People can lie, people can cheat, people can steal, people can people can violate the Ten Commandments and all those other things because they're saying is, I'm not accountable to that, but you are. And now you can see how people can sit there and say that's what the Bible is controlled. It's, 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 it's meant to control because as long as it only was applied to the people that's trying, the people that a group or a society or individuals want to control, and make it applies to them, but not to themselves. That's what we've been dealing with. That's what we see today. Yeah, you can sit there and say, uh, the, the, the people got some skills out of being a, uh, a slave because you're sitting there saying is, as long as it did, as long as I wasn't a slave, I, I can think that way. I can do the bad thing. I can go attack January 6th and attack the Capitol and break down windows and everything else because it does not apply to me. I can sit there and take classified documents, take it and put it in the home because it doesn't apply to me, but it applies to you. That's 
what we're talking about. That's what these people are fighting for. Because when you sit there and talk about the Black Wall Street, and when that was sitting there, and those people burned down that those people's home and the business and everything else, because of one accusation of one person, they did that. And how many other places did the uh, other communities were either burned down or in, in late near, they actually flooded a, a town uh, because of an accusation of one or two people. The entire community was kicked out and the place was flooded so that nobody can be there again because it only applies to the people that they want to control. And I guess that's why you can sit there and put a postcard up and, and have somebody lynch because it only applies to the person on the tree or the people that we want to put on the tree that lawlessness applies to them you can have the right for the second amendment as long as it doesn't be for the people we consider undesirable or put down as less than you can discriminate you can have an affirmative action if it was for us but not for them we can see what i'm saying like legacy that's a that's a that's a that's a affirmative action program when you think about it in other words these people are allowed to go there because their family members were there but we don't want to bring other people so we're going we're going to we have quotas i want quotas for you guys and we only want to bring on a certain group of people and you it's just like oh matter of fact it's just like a poll taxing right in other words for you to vote you got to take a test and see we know you can't pass this comprehensive test but it only applies to you see these other people who can't read or write they still can vote because they 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 got we give them a card based on the color of their skin but because of your skin we you got to take a test because we know that we're gonna make a test that you can't pass but unfortunately that there were a lot of people that still could pass the test, right? Not a lot, but a few. But most people of, uh, of this, of the group that wants to be in charge, they couldn't pass the test either. And that's what we're seeing today. And I will sit there. Yeah, there you go, you're back. I was sitting there using some other examples too, like the poll taxes. You, you remember, you, you remember, it's like, this 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 other person that's part of our group even though they may be considered sub even my group category they can take they can vote without taking the test yeah because i know they can't take the test either they can't pass the test i know most of them couldn't even, you know like if you go back far enough they couldn't even write their name because they know how to write their name they know how to spell their name if you go back even further, there's a lot of them never got finished education, never got a you know a degree. Uh, but we're gonna make you responsible for taking a comprehensive test just to vote. And oh look, you can't read, y'all ignorant. But we're gonna make a law to make sure nobody teach you how to read because you know you can't. Even read. worse, you can't. If you tell me how many marbles are mm -hmm. in this jar, then you can vote. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. See, what I'm saying it's, it's like you said, it's a, it's a people we like, and I think that the world sees it. You know, I mean, it's not like people don't recognize it. Uh, it's hypocrisy. It's a, even hypocrisy in dictatorship countries. You know, when when you got Korea, you know, you got people sitting there eating grass uh, or poor in province. But but the, the 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 government is all powerful and all knowing, you know. You got people in China where you got Muslims are being imprisoned and put in the, you know, concentration camps. But you know it's okay because see they're not us. They're not the party. And they might have had one party system too, right? It's like one party system. Then it seems like one group actually wants to have a one party system yeah uh opposed to the fact is in diversity <laughs> even in look this is my fact democrat republican that's that's a we we feel like that's a balance in our country 
But there's one group that want to just take them out. We just want to be in charge. Uh, there's one group that sits there and, and, and cheat on, on the election. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about go all the way back to George Bush and Al Gore. In Florida, yeah. what, what, what state was that? Florida, too. Wasn't Florida. It? Florida. You had a chance. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. People, you are, and I think I want to put it in you all are accountable to God. Let me see if I have a last scripture here. And matter of fact, brother, I to, what I was saying, I had two, uh, 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 let me see here. This this is the, this is the more of a wrap up. Maybe, let me see here. Just make sure people, people, y'all tripping. Y'all can't, all of us are accountable to God. Maybe that should have been the title of the sound. Well, all of us are title, accountable to God. <laughs> I put down here, uh, Deuteronomy 8, 17, and said, Thou shalt say in thy heart, my power and the might of my hand have gotten me this well. But thou shalt remember the Lord that God for it is he that gives the power to get the wealth, that he may establish what? His covenant, his will, right? Which he swear to thy father as it is today. And it shall be if thou do at all forget the Lord God and walk after and walk after other gods. And I'm, I'm concerned about people sitting there walking after the flesh, walking after the party affiliation, and serve them and worship them. There was even one time I saw one convention they ain't had a golden statue of a president. Uh, I guess it was gold plated. I hope <laughs> it wasn't real gold. What? Donald Trump. Woo! <laughs> they did, did that and worshipped and worship them. I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish. And that's that's the concern about be not deceived. God is not mocked, right? For whatsoever man soweth, that should also reap. This is. We, some people are reaping, like, I guess the revelation, somebody got to be here for the revelation, right? Somebody got to go through the revelation. And apparently, some people don't recognize this building, they set themselves up for the wrath of God. And yet you think you're going to get away with God. You can get away with people, but you can't get away with God. I mean, Christ is sitting there saying, John, look, this is very clear, isn't it? What, what, what does it say, 14, 6? What does it say, brother? I quoted a couple of times already. What, what, what does it say? It says, Yeshua said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, Elohim, but by me. He said no man, right? What, what's left in no? No man. Oh, let me, you, if you don't go my way, God's way, yeah. you ain't going to the Father. That's what Christ is saying. You can sit there and call yourself a Christian all, all day long, but if you don't go the way, if you don't go by the truth, because you can't sit there and say the truth is a lie. You can't sit there, like you said, a preacher getting on church and saying, you demons, you 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 Democrats, you, you liberal, you, you know, you get out of my church. But that's not... They're saying, you know, okay, well, We've been taught the test. We ain't got no fruit from the we test. Got, we ain't we bearing no fruit from the test. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what exactly right. And then, you know, and, and people, this was a good one for all of you, is that I like Jeremiah 17, 5. Go ahead and read that for us. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusts mm. in man mm. and make it flesh his own. Mm. And mm. whose heart he parted from the Lord. And that's that's what we're talking about, the deception, right? You yeah. and and then we said that be not deceived again, people. God is not mocked for what several man soweth. That's what they're gonna read. And you trust in man, is that what they're doing today? And that's what they did four hundred years ago. That's what they did with the crusade. That's what they did with the cell of witch hunt. You trusted in man. You trust in your own flesh. I mean, you know, let's just go back to the Salem <laughs> witch hunt. How, how did they determine if you were a witch hunt? You floated. You had to float, didn't you? No, after you died, <laughs> you had to float. Yes. <laughs> so, so, 
So they're gonna kill you <laughs> so that you you can't come back to to, to seek vengeance. <laughs> that is bad, brother. That is bad. You had to seek and then oh well he, he must not have been. But yet you he gets no look, there's no repercussion. Mm -mm. There was no repercussion for those who killed the those people that they accused of being a witch. Because I'm not accountable. I'm not held accountable. Hey, look, police, why do they believe? Shoot somebody. Oh, I was fearing for my life. I'm not yeah. accountable. I'm not accountable. I have the clip on that joke. I'm not accountable. And don't you hold me accountable. And, and that, that person don't have no weapon. Mm. Is not making no effort to do anything to harm that cop. But those words are redeeming. Yeah, to take away accountability. In our judicial system. Right. If you're, if you're a cop. Or, yeah. Or like that one woman who went and looked up Stand Your Ground after yeah. killing a woman. Mm -hmm. That is amazing, isn't it? That is amazing. And for the fact is, if 17, 7 said, Blessed man and trusted in the Lord. Are you trusting in the Lord or are you trusting in man? Yeah. And he's telling you, if you trust in man, you are cursed. And and, and I guess the fact is, maybe some of you can sit there and accept that you are believing, you believing that you are okay because you trust in a man. And yet, Brother Isaac, you're not going to go before God. And say so and so, brother. I asked him I could do this. Yeah. How about, do you think? Do you recommend anybody go and do that? <laughs> he does. <laughs> you know. And I'm talking about I any man. I cannot really. imagine. I cannot imagine. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's in the word. So people are <laughs> going to try and justify themselves. You know, but to to. <laughs> to actually appear in front of God, mm. Elohim. Yeah. And if you appear in front of him, then everything you heard <laughs> obviously must come to mind that he knows all, knows the beginning mm. and the end and everything yeah. in between. And yeah. yet you still have a nature of Satan to lie, the, 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 he's the father of lies. You still have that nature even mm. after you leave your physical body to sit mm. before God and try to lie when you know, when you know that you when did you, not bear any fruit. Yeah. When you sit there and you watch. Everything that you produce burn mm. in fire. After yeah. You watch nothing. There's no, there's no substance after your life has been tried. Left. Deep. It's just all ashes. And then yeah, you're gonna sit there and say, but <laughs> yeah, but I did. Well, <laughs> this fire shows proof of your existence. If you ain't got no fruit left. When I try your life and, and, and it goes against this fire. See, what, what, why is your move, your lips move? Right, right. <laughs> oh, it, it, my fact, my fact, it kind of reminds you, I like the fact that around uh, the rich man and Lazarus. Yeah. And, and remember that part he says, son, remember, yeah. in that lifetime, you were comforted, but Lazarus was was tormented. So now Lazarus is comforted and you're tormented. But do you remember your lifetime? You were the tormentor. Well, you 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 allow him to be tormented. Yeah. You, 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 didn't, you didn't even get a man. The man was at your house, <laughs> right? He was at your house yeah. and, and begging for crumbs to the point where dogs would sit there and, and what? Lick his, lick, lick his sword. Obviously, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't take care of him. Oh, he was a tormentor. 
Then basically, isn't it? A non-action is an action. Come on now. That that's what I'm looking at. The fact is that you you were the tormentor. Uh you contributed to it. And that's what look, and then I think you agree, and that's what a lot of people are doing today. Yeah, they're non-action. Like I'm I never I didn't do it. I never shot a black man. Come on now. I never Come called on. one the N-word. Come on now. Come on. I never I, I never prosecuted one of them. My hands are clean. Yeah. I didn't no, I didn't do that. You 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 did nothing. You did nothing. You did nothing and, to change the situation, though you know the situation was at hand. And you, and you know <laughs> go ahead. You overlooked the atrocities. And when someone needed help, you mm. did not provide it. And the word says, when you help one of these, yes, that's what I was going to. You have done that to me. Yes, exactly. That that's what I wanted to say. You know, uh, is that you? You. It's almost like. So you agree? What you just said is almost like what they're not. They don't believe they're accountable to God, or they don't even believe. They, they don't believe in God. Do they believe in God, or they just don't think they're gonna be held accountable to God? Or? They're passing the test. <laughs> they're learning the test. It, the test is a bad test, right? Because well, it's the not a true is, test. Is the test is to prove to man? To man, that's the point. That you're a Christian, <laughs> right? Opposed to the fact that God says, "Don't look at the outward appearance." Yeah, right. Be look human yeah. and, and 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 i'll close up with this brother and i'm gonna let you read this but i'm guarantee you get where i'm coming from uh hey everybody god bless you i i once again i still be excited about getting to the word of god studying the word of god and discussing the word of god with other people and this sunday is no difference than for the rest of this week uh we're sent out in small segments uh these uh sessions so you can digest them. Uh, but I'm telling you, the the topic today, I had a bit of two topics, uh, because you gotta be led by the Holy Spirit on what he wants to talk about and 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 try to make sure people understand who we are, who you are, if you believe that you are a believer in Christ, if you are letting Christ be Lord, because it's not just confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus, but believing in your heart. That God raised from the dead now as we say. But the key to that is that you believe with your heart and you 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 confess salvation to your mouth. But the key what I want to put in there is that you let him be Lord in your life. If you follow in Christ, Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. So the question is, is some of the behavior that we do, are we doing that to to please the Father or are we doing things to please man? Do we believe we're going to only be accountable to man in this lifetime or do we understand we'll be accountable to God? That's what I want to be able to talk about. And when, when, when I came up with the study, I had the initial topic is the mark of a true Christian. And, and I felt led and also inspired because of the news of this week where the state of Florida said then says that, you know, uh, slave benefit from being slaves. And you know, good weather, that, that's just a slap in the face to anybody to just think that you you benefit from being a slave. Uh, could I ask you a question? Who, anybody, anybody who was not, were not slaves, anybody who would, came to this country as free people or indentured people, but the fact that you came to this country and did you want to be a slave? Do you think that you would have been you would have been beneficial for you to be a slave, opposed to being free? And the answer is going to always be being free. So it isn't the type of I get in I'm a coach. This is my opening piece. I want to give and and, and close out. I had two topics. The first one was do Christians, and you know, because I'm a Christian, so I'm talking about as Christians. Do Christians believe we benefited from slavery? And the answer should be. No. And if you do believe that, then you need to go and come up on the line and tell people why you felt that you should have been a slave so you can get benefit. So instead of sitting there trying to say that somebody else benefited from rape, benefited from murder and lynching, 
and the brutality and forced to, to not pursue happiness, but to be forced to work for somebody else forever, or at least until they die. You know, that's that's the conditions of slavery. And and something about Florida, they forgot the fact is that those people that actually uh, are anti-abortion don't go to forget that some of the people in Florida or in some of the other states, I guess, as well, use baby slaves to capture alligators. I mean, they put the baby out in the, in, in the reach with the alligator and come in, in a child. That's, that's, that's demonic, don't you agree? But the bottom line I put down here is that do Christians believe we benefit from slavery? No. We don't think we benefited from the brutalities of slavery. And if you think so, why don't you go ahead and be a slave for yourself? You know, the bottom line is we are believers. And Christ had then said in John 15, if you love me, you keep my commandments. You know his commandments, right? John 14, 30, or well, 13, uh, 35, or 34. What it says is, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And then 35 says, and men will know you are my disciples for the love you have for one another. So uh, obviously, uh, people of slavery that became Christians, they still had the same type of brutalities and everything else, really bringing up this modern day time. And yet, they did it by, to, from people who profess to be Christians. Uh, now, the benefit is from, from God, not from man. And if, if I go by the man's benefit, I don't want it. Not that way, anyway. The other one I put down here is the mark of a true Christian. And, 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 and as we close out, the fact is, man, um, are some people not recognizing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of them, they don't really are accountable to God. They don't believe they are, but everybody will. The Bible said, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Christ is Lord. Um, everybody will be go before God and give account of himself to God. You know, that's why we want to advocate Christ. So you take it for what you want, but obviously in this world, Talk about in this world, some people feel that they are not going to be held accountable. And maybe that's why they do what they do. They can't see what they're seeing or doing. Amen. So God bless you. Hope you enjoy yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put my introduction in. I may do a uh, closeout as well. But don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. And uh, I appreciate the support and listening. Amen. God bless you. And I see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.